Welcome back to Terramind's how-to tutorial series. We have designed these short topic-specific videos to help Terramind users and administrators with quick tips, tricks, and guidance on new features and their use cases. In today's video, we will cover the topic, how to configure Terramind's activity monitoring to accommodate data privacy requirements. Feel free to write to us at hello at terramind.co with any suggestions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Terramind's highly customizable activity monitoring and DLP solutions will help you in protecting critical organizational data, meet regulatory compliance requirements, and comply with employee privacy regulations. With Terramind, you can fully adjust the monitoring and user session recording options to accommodate your organization's data privacy requirements. For example, with the monitoring profiles, you can decide who should be monitored for what actions. Monitoring settings allow you to fine-tune what activities are monitored and how. Record at certain periods or only during rule violation incidents. Limit privileged user access to prevent misuse or abuse of the platform. You can also request a tailored version of the monitoring agent from Terramind with limited monitoring functionality. There are many use cases for configuring activity monitoring for data privacy. For example, you can utilize monitoring profiles to enable social media monitoring for the marketing department and disable it for other departments. You can set up Terramind to automatically suspend session recording and keystroke reporting when users visit a banking portal. You can choose to record activity only when business applications are open, such as QuickBooks or SAP, and optionally choose not to record screen or keystrokes when the user is in a social media outlet like Facebook. And finally, you can turn off all monitoring and tracking during employee breaks or only record the session when a policy is violated. In the first example of this demo, we will show you how you can create a monitoring profile for executives where we will disable certain monitoring aspects of the Terramind agent. Keep in mind, you can visit our website at www.terramind.co and click on the online demo button to explore the dashboard for yourself and see the examples presented in this video. Let's take a view from the dashboard. Once logged in, click on the cogwheel on the top right hand side of the dashboard, then select monitoring settings from the options displayed. Once there, you will see a list of existing monitoring profiles. Click on the new profile button. Let's give it a name and optionally a description. Once done, click apply changes to create the profile. Now let's click on the Edit Objects to Track button on the top right corner. This will bring up a window where you can select users to include in this monitoring profile. You can also select organizational units and groups if you've set up Active Directory integration. Let's click Apply Changes to save the profile and get back to the list of monitoring settings. We can optionally turn off a few items we don't want monitored by toggling the On-Off slider in front of each item. Next, we will show you how to configure the monitoring settings of individual objects to precisely define what activities are monitored and how. To access the monitoring settings for objects like screen, audio, applications, or websites, click the settings icon on top next to the username. From there, let's click monitoring settings from the options provided. From the list of monitoring profiles, click the small gear icon to the right of any profile to open its settings panel. We will use the default profile here. This will bring up a list of monitored objects. To configure an object's monitoring settings, click the small gear icon at the right side of the object's row. Let's start with the first object, Screen. With Screen, you can specify if a user session will be recorded indefinitely or only during a rule violation. You can also enable or disable remote control access by an administrator. Feel free to experiment with some of the other options not mentioned in this video. For all objects, the settings panel will allow you to define the days and hours for monitoring to be enabled. You can define them at the bottom of the panel. Be sure to click Apply Changes to save the settings. Audio monitoring is turned off by default but can be useful to monitor the quality of service provided by customer care agents. On the Application Settings panel, you can suspend monitoring or disable keystroke recording for certain applications. Alternatively, you can monitor only selected applications. You can optionally enable or disable tracking for console commands and specify the period of inactivity over which you consider your users idle. Website settings offer granular control over what websites are monitored and parsed.
Here you can define websites or a list of websites for which you want to record screen and keystrokes. All other websites will be blacked out in the recordings. Conversely, you can define the websites for which you want to suspend recording. Screen and keystroke recording for all other sites will still be enabled. This setting allows you to record screen and keystrokes but suspend content parsing. For example, record when the user is in Gmail but do not capture the email content nor attachments. If the HTML of a URL contains a string listed here, that website will not be monitored with the screen blacked out and keystrokes will not be recorded. Common use cases for this is determining intranet or proxy generated websites. The next three settings are the same as above, just IP based instead of URL. You can also suspend only keystroke monitoring for certain websites in case you want to capture the screen but not keystrokes. And of course you can suspend monitoring for all private or incognito browser sessions. In the following video, we will show you what happens when an employee visits or uses one of the websites or applications for which we turned off monitoring. To view employee activities, click on the monitoring tab on the left hand side of the dashboard and select web pages and applications. Now let's conduct a search for an employee named Mindy. From the list of reported activities, let's take a look at one where she's visiting a bank's website. Click on the small video camera icon to review the recorded video playback of that activity. Here we can see she's preparing to visit the Bank of America website. And then, nothing. The screen is completely blacked out. As you can see, by disabling monitoring for specific websites, Terramind will not record the video or keystroke entries. The default is to capture both incoming and outgoing emails, but you can choose to disable either one. There's an option to save outgoing attachments as well, allowing you to download the sent attachment from the Terramind dashboard. And of course, you can disable capturing actual email content. In that case, only the to, from, and subject fields will be saved. Note that you can monitor both desktop clients like Outlook and webmail clients like Gmail. The file transfers panel has many options. You can track local files, network files, cloud files, or a file on a removable media device like a pen drive, and specify file types by extension. You can also set monitoring based on a file operation like copy, upload, or delete. Most of our clients leave the default settings as is, but you are free to edit them as needed. Similar to file transfers, most of our clients leave print settings as is. But again, feel free to edit as needed, including whether or not you want Terramind to record the scanned content of any prints. Keystroke recording is a critical item and a highly sensitive topic for data privacy. You can turn keystroke logging off from the monitoring settings page, or you can edit the settings selectively from the websites and applications settings page. Similar to the email settings, you can specify a list of instant messengers you want to monitor. You can choose to monitor only incoming messages, outgoing, both, or neither. Similar to instant messaging settings, you can track certain social media platforms for individual content like comments or posts. With network settings, you can set details for things like IPs and ports. The offline recording buffer specifies how long the Terramind agent will continue to record and report on user actions while the user is disconnected from the internet or Terramind server. By default, the buffer is set to 24 hours, but you can increase or decrease the time as needed. That's all the time we have today for this video. You should now know how to properly customize the monitoring and recording options to accommodate data privacy requirements. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button below to view other tutorials from the Terramind YouTube channel.